What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create lower thirds in Vegas Pro 16. Now, if you want to know how to make it in Photoshop, I've done a tutorial on that before, a link to it will be in the description. Also, with the one I'm going to be creating in this video, I will be providing a template so you can go ahead to the description and download it. Okay, so here we are in Vegas Pro 16, and the first thing you're gonna be doing is heading over to the Media Generators tab. And from here, you're gonna scroll all the way down, and you're gonna select Solid Color. Now, it doesn't matter what color you pick, just as long as it's not black, because the default background is going to be black. So just drag and drop on any color apart from black. Of course, this will appear. You can just X out of it for now. Then you're gonna be heading over to the Pan Crop tool. So select the Pan Crop, then you want to select the masking tool so make sure that's enabled and now this is where you can control what it will look like so you can go with the regular rectangle select the rectangle tool left click and drag out a rectangle you can even pick an oval or ellipse tool and if you hold shift this will keep that circle in proportion and then you can position that how you like it this will say where your logo can go or you can just select the anchor creation tool and let's say for example you want to be a bit creative you can literally draw out one how you like it. So of course that's a bit of a mess, but you get the idea. You can draw out your own. Now what I'm gonna do is create an oval or a circle. So I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and drag out a circle. And this is where the icon will go. And the uh, handle I'll be making now is going to be specifically for Twitter. So then just reposition it how you want it. I'm gonna keep it right there and I'm gonna X out of it. I'm then gonna right click and insert another video track. This time, you don't want to add the same color that you've already added because then you won't be able to see it as good. So I'm just going to drag and drop on a green. Once again, we can X out of this and we can go over to the pan crop tool. Once again, head over to the masking. And of course, this time is what you're going to have uh, for the text to go on. So most likely it will be a rectangle. And I'm going to put a rectangle here and I'm going to drag it across just like here. I'm then going to X out of it. And notice that green is on top of our circle. Now I don't want that, so I'm gonna drag that video track down. So you can see it's now behind. So I'm gonna drag and drop on a Twitter logo. And I'm simply gonna drag and drop this onto another video track. So here it is. And now you can reposition it using the pan crop tool. However, I always like to use the track motion tool. All I'm gonna do is put this to the side. Make sure to have a lock aspect ratio checked. Also scale of our sensor checked and then simply go to a corner and drag it down. Of course, this is just gonna make it smaller. Then you can reposition it to this circle. Now, let's just say for instance that we wanna change that color of a green, maybe to match the Twitter icon. So then we head back over to the green and we select the generated media. We then get the color, select the color, select the color picker and simply select the icon. So as you can see, that has now matched the exact same color as the Twitter icon. You can X out of it and this is currently what we have. So of course, the final thing we need to do is add on some text, but we're not gonna be done after that, so don't skip just yet. To add some text, go to Media Generators, then Legacy Text, and you can see there's a bunch of different types of text you can pick from. My personal preference is always just go by default, and then later on you can adjust it. Press Control A, use a different font. Of course, Arial is not gonna be the best font to use, so just download some. So I'm gonna do it all in capitals instead. I'm gonna press Control A and bring it down to about size 25. Then I'm gonna X out of this, again using the track motion tool, I'm gonna to position this right here. And there we go. So, we've got our basic layout. We've got, of course, the Twitter icon with a nice white back. We also have this blue bar, which is matching the Twitter icon, also with our Twitter at. And if you're not already, be sure to go ahead and follow. Now, just before we add any sort of animation to our text is something very important we need to do. We need to work out how long we want it to be on screen. So you can see currently this is set to 10 seconds. It's gonna be far too long for a lower third. So I recommend a maximum of five seconds. And I'm gonna to go to five seconds and I'm gonna press M on my keyboard, which will lay down a marker. Then I'm simply just gonna shorten everything to that five second mark. And then go back to the start, and now this is where you wanna work out what you want to, to come in and when you want it to come in. So of course, the Twitter icon and this white background will be coming in together, and that will be the first thing I want to be coming on. With that being said, I'm gonna drag this, which is the text, forward one whole second. 
And I'm also going to do the same with the blue bar. So then we'll just have the Twitter icon and this white background. The next thing I'm going to do is heading over to transitions. Now this is where you can be super creative. There's no right or wrong way. You pick what you feel is best. So for example, I really like the zoom transition. I'm going to drag and drop this onto the Twitter icon and I'll X out of it. Now for the circle itself, I'm just going to add on a simple fade. Now notice I'm going to do that at 15 frames. So then the circle will come on first and then the Twitter icon will finish off laughter. So just playing it through. That's what we currently get. Now, of course, we need to add some animation to the text and also this blue bar. So I already know what I'm going to do for the blue bar and I'm going to head over to transitions and I'm going to add on a slide. So here it is. And slide in left to right. I'm going to drag and drop this right here. X out of it and I'm going to bring down the frames to 15. Then for the text, I'm going to add on a fade, but I'm going to keep this at one whole frame or one whole second. So I'll play it through. We've got that fade in and we've got that coming in like that. Super, super simple. And then of course the final thing is getting everything off screen. So you basically do reverse of what you've just done. So the text will be going off first. So that's going to be a whole second. Now notice we had a left to right slide on the blue bar. So that means we need a right to left slide out. So it's right here, drag and drop this at the end of your clip. It's going to be 15 frames. And X out of it. Then of course the white also is a 15 frame slide out or fading out. And then for the uh, Twitter icon, it was a zoom. So we drag and drop this and zoom out center, which is going to be the opposite. Drag and drop it at the end of the Twitter icon. So if I play it through, you can see it comes on screen, everything and everything will go off at the same time as well. And it just looks really slick, super easy to create. And all I've done is used in built in plugins with Vegas. Now I will be also providing a template in the description. So you can go ahead and use this yourself and you can adjust the template. So you can, for example, put a Snapchat, put a Twitch icon, put anything you want to. And of course, adjust the colors how you like it. Now there's one more thing I need to show you and that is coming to the exporting part. There's two ways you can do this. One way you render it without a background. Another way is where you go to media generators, solid color and select a green background. And if you haven't guessed it, it will basically be on a green screen. So playing it through, it would look like that. Then you would head over to video effects. Then you'd select chroma key. Then you would add on green screen, drag and drop it onto your whole clip and you can see it would remove it. And of course you'd be doing this after all of this is rendered. So all of this will be coming to one video. Then to export it without a background, so it'll just be like this. To make sure it's set to best and full. Head over to the render as settings. From here you're going to select quick time 7. As you can see I've already got my uh, template set up here. So what you would do is select three megabytes video, then you'd select customize template. And what you want to do is just copy the settings I have right here. Of course, if you're not doing 60 frames per second, then select the correct frame rate you're using. Once you're happy with everything, go up to the top, call it something you're going to remember and select the save template button. That's how I have it saved right here. So I'm just going to call this sample. And now notice the rendering time will be a little bit longer. However, just be patient and it will render with no background. So the video is just finished rendering. I'm going to open that folder. Now it's on my second monitor, but the first thing I want to do is just head over to media generators and I'll add a red background. So pretend this red background is going to be your video. Now when we add that lower third on, which is right here, notice it's going to be a black background. So it has actually rendered with no background, but it will appear black. What you need to do when you insert your lower third is right click it, select properties, head over to media. And from here where it says alpha channel, change it from none to straight unmatted, select OK. That gets rid of the background and your lower third will play as normal. And that is it.